Hi, it's Adam here from Ads Productions with the review of the Synology DS212J NAS drive. On the front of the device we've got various indicators. We've got the overall status indicator or status, the LAN, the disk 1 and the disk 2. If either hard drive were to fail, then a yellow light would be shown. On the back of the device we have a fan that can be replaced, as well as two USB ports for use with IP webcams and other devices, as well as an Ethernet port, a power connection and a Kensington lock connection. I am now going to go ahead and show you how to install some hard drives. Installing hard drives in this drive is very simple. All you have to do is turn it upside down and slide the casing apart as instructed by the small graphic. The part you will be using to install the hard drives should look like this. All you have to do from here is slide the hard drives in until they are fully connected. To make sure that the hard drives don't fall out, you must make sure that they are fully screwed in with the screws provided. And here is what the NAS drive will look like when it has been fitted with two hard drives. As I mentioned earlier, you're easily able to replace the fan by just disconnecting the cable and unscrewing the screws at the back. Once you've done that, put the enclosure back together and you'll be good to go. I'm now filming this downstairs in my dad's office. The reason I'm doing this is because the router is here, but first you have to make sure the NAS drive has power. Next, take the Ethernet cable that came bundled with the drive and plug it into the back of the router and into the back of the drive. This is the part of the video where I do a time lapse to show you guys what the light should look like when you first boot up the drive. After you have confirmed that the drive and the hard drives within it are working correctly, you should install the software on the disk that should have come as part of the package. Yep, you guessed it, another time lapse. All you have to do once you have put the disk in is simply make your way through the wizard. Once you set up your NAS drive, go to any browser, as long as you're on your network it should be fine, and then type in the address that you saw previously. For example, mine is 192.168.1.70. This is very similar to the Windows operating system layout. You're also able to make use of the various applications that are available. These include tools that allow you to monitor the health of the drive, as well as the ability to check out any other devices such as webcams that you may have installed. Overall, the Synology DS212J is very easy to use, even for someone like me who has never used something like this before. So if you're hesitant about picking one up, I say just go for it and you may be pleasantly surprised. Thanks very much for watching this review, this has been Adam from Ads Productions and if you've yet to subscribe please do so, please follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash adsproductions for more updates.